Hi guys, number one iPod helper here, and today we're doing a, the iOS 5 beta 5 uh, sort of roundup, and then I've got it on my iPod here, and then we're going to have a, a closer look. So I've pulled up a, a web page here of all the changes and fixes that have been made in iOS 5 beta 5, and before we go on to this, I think this will be the final beta before the Grandmaster, and for people who don't know who the, the Grandmaster is, the Grandmaster is the complete iOS 5 uh, will be the one that will be released in the, the autumn or fall for the Americans uh, that will be released to developers only and before we go on as well I don't think there's a jailbreak out for this yet so whenever there is I will definitely post this so anyway um, the known issues that have been fixed is accounts with the iCloud now it's starting to come into play here with iOS 5 especially in beta 2 it started coming up and in beta 5 I actually think that you can use it yet but I haven't like set mine up yet I'll go through that in the video AirPlay has been modified Apple TV you can um, enables you all oh right so you can actually do in the you know the official video it shows where the, the mom and the children are on the iPad 2 scrolling that's available in beta 5 and um, calendar birthdays and um, there's new calendars, so whenever you are on an iPhone and you have like an iPod Touch, the calendar dates go onto your iPhone and iPod Touch. So that that there is pretty cool. I like that the, that there. Game Kit, there has been. I'm just reading this through as well. Um. Okay, so there's bigger memory. iBooks, the has been upgraded. iCloud backup, so now you can back up from your device with the iCloud iCloud storage, which is. Well, if you don't know, no, sorry. If you don't know what iCloud is, it's um, it's a, a storage like thing where you can get more memory on your iDevice, and it's like this website type thing, or you can download it. I'm not I'm not 100 sure what a, what it is, but it's something along the lines as you get more memory or something. So iCloud storage has been more in iOS five. Um. Yeah, okay, it's something about Mac as well. iMessages, you can't, if you're on beta 2, 3, 4 and 5, you can't contact people with iMessages on beta 1. So that there has been around for a while. Okay, um, iPod, you know, whenever there were some problems in betas, the, the previous betas, that whenever you were listening to music, the, the art cover, or the cover flow was not coming up, that has been fixed. And uh, whenever you use the volume buttons, it will respond better and plug it into headphones. Sometimes it didn't recognize that. So location, it's fixed your location GPS. Uh, mail, it has fixed forwarding messages, attachments, um, changing the name of email accounts and settings, um, like messages, etc. Music library, some songs are missing. There, uh, yeah, that basically what I was saying about their cover artwork. That's been fixed as well. OTA over the air software updates that's come out in beta four and now beta three and beta four. No, it's been upgraded to beta four and then beta five. Photos, it's been the red eyes been fixed, and um, you can now use iPhoto, which is new as well. And um, that's pretty much it. There's red eye new restoring photo libraries, to iTunes backup. That's pretty good because sometimes whenever I backed up my device, the photos went to wear. Springboard. Um, let me just have a read over this. Okay, so notifications will come up with the iOS 5 cent notification center. And um, unread messages will be marked something different. And uh, Twitter. When tweeting your location from Safari and exiting before location can be ex Okay, so... Whenever you're in Safari, you can tweet over your location or something. Um, UI kit, web kit, that's just internet stuff. Wi-Fi syncing. Um, you can sync with wireless. That was, that was in beta 4. And fixed, in some cases, syncing photos may result in only thumbnails on your device. It, if this happens, unused sync. Okay, so basically it's the same. Photos that weren't syncing have been fixed. So that's pretty much it for the, the highlights that has been changed. So we will go on to the device and we will go on through the 
lock screen and we'll put some of these new stuff to the test. Okay, here we've got my iPod Touch 4th generation. So we're just gonna, we're at the lock screen here, so we're going to, okay, I've just restored my device. Okay, so there we go, it's picked up my internet. Sign in with my ID, let me just type that in. Okay, I just finished that, click next, I'm signing me in. Okay, I'll just agree to that, agree. Okay, now it's just activating my device. And there has not been a jailbreak for this, I've already said that, so you can't activate it yet. Um, so we're just going to have to wait to see if uh, Muscle Nerd will release one soon, hopefully. Okay, here we go. I don't want to send these. Okay, we're pretty much done. Start using iTouch. Okay, now as you can see, you know, like, stuff has been updated. You know, it hasn't been completely restored. Well, actually, I did restore it. Oh, anyway, it doesn't matter. So let's get to these um, stuff that I had told you about. So let's find something that I could... Do it all. Okay, so I've just opened Safari here, and remember it said the Twitter has been, you know, fixed for in Safari. So we're just gonna tr see it out here. I'm just open up Twitter. It says tweet there. Okay, and this. Okay, we'll we'll tweet this. So we'll say, and we'll say in a video in a the video. So this is kind of cool. It can tweet your your web page. So we'll just send that there. Okay, and we noise has just said that. So it says the uh, springboard, the push notifications will appear in the notification center and on the lock screen. So that there's a big improvement. So let me just send myself an email here. Okay, it, unfortunately I wasn't able to make a, an email happen because Yahoo is down. But if any of you are having problems with Yahoo, please comment down below and if you're having problems it's just not me so anyway I just opened the photo app to show you the red eye and for people it was opening really really long and me as well and now it opens really quickly so let me just show you here there we go I'm switching to camera to um, camcorder that was really quick so let me just take a picture here with the volume rocker okay I'm just taking a video here <laughs> Whoops. and um, we'll just switch over to the camera Okay, there we go. So let's go into our photos. There we go. Now we have the edit button up here. And yeah, we've got... It's came up a lot quicker. We can crop it now. No, well, now. And we can zoom in and out to crop. And yeah, that, that there looks really good. We can actually use the scores that didn't work for me last time. So there's 16 by 9. So crop it like that. We can now... This wasn't beta 3 and 4, but it wasn't up to scratch, it wasn't working very well, and now it works like it's really, really good. So that's pretty much it. And we'll go on to the sense of touch. Now that there was a, a new thing that brought out in beta 3, so let's see if we can find it here. I think it's in general. Accessibility. Okay, sense of touch, we'll just turn that on. See if it will... Oh, there we go. Now, oh, it's really small. It's actually came, came a lot smaller. So it used to be the size of an icon. Now it's about, let me just measure that, it's 75%. Now that's really, really good. I didn't really like it because it was so big, but now it's quite small. Um, let's see if it works more. We'll go on the device. We'll press lock screen. Yeah, that there is working very, very well. I like this now. Beta 3 and 4 it wasn't working up to scratch as well. Now it's, now it's really, it's working really good. So let's go on to, okay, that's just, oh, pinch to zoom and all works. That's really, I really like this. So you can create your custom gesture. So let's see what else can play around with it. Okay, I'll just turn this up here. Okay, it seems to not be responding. Okay, I just had to do a hard reboot there. Don't know what happened. So let's go on to the device one more time and we can rotate the screen. Now it's probably just for the iPad. Where we go to lock screen. So guys, that was iOS 5, beta 5. In my opinion, the best beta out there. So definitely upgrade if you have your if you're a registered developer. 
and stay tuned for more. I if whenever the jailbreak is out, I will be the first to make a video on it. So guys, definitely subscribe up there and uh, like this video and comment down below if your Yahoo is not working or tell me your thoughts on this beta. This is number one iPod helper. Peace.